this is severe MMA. We're at UTC in Erdington and Birmingham. We're alongside. I'm not going to say Aaron Wilkinson now, just because we're talking about <laughs> Aaron Goldberg, who takes on Alan Murphy at MMAC yeah. 20, uh, 2 on February 25th. Yeah. This is your amateur debut. Yeah. You're going to be fighting a little bit out of weight class for the first time at, at featherweight. The first question is now, why is the time to step into the cage? Why is now the time to make the debut? Uh, well, really, I've been training here for a year now, this year, like a year come January, and I've just been doing what I need to do in the gym doing the classes that I need to do, training with Silk, Daz, Jake, Hadley and Ryan and just like finding where I fit in mm. with the team and then when they told me I was ready, I'm ready. You know, the UTC, they, they've had a fight team that it, if you've been involved in UK MMA, yeah. they've had a fight team that has sent trembles down people's spine. They have for, for years. This yeah. is a team that's always been near the top of the food chain and, and it hasn't changed for a little while. Making your debut for a team like this, you know, when they tell you you're ready, you know, what do, what's that feel like? Is that that's got to be good? Yeah, it is. Like, I know they have faith in me. If they didn't have faith in me, I wouldn't have faith in myself to do what I need to do. Not to say I don't believe in myself, but they know more when I'm ready than more yeah. than what I know. Because I could have said six months ago, yeah, I'm ready. But if they don't feel I'm ready, then I'm not ready, really, am I? So that's a, so it's it's got to be a, it's got to be one good for the ego, but it's got to be really good for the confidence and to kind of help focus you for the next five weeks, knowing that you know guys like Silk, Yannick, Rocky, said, yeah, you're ready to represent the UTC fight team. Yeah, definitely. It's like you know you have to be proud of like the gym you work in and training and everything. So I'm just here every day, Monday, Friday, getting my hours in, doing what I need to do. I'm going to ask this question. I, I, I got a sneaking suspicion. I know the answer because I'm talking to a UTC fighter. But what do you know about Alan Murphy? Nothing. He's Irish. That's about it. <laughs> I suppose my next question is, does it matter? No. Let's go in there, do what i got to do, fight to my strengths, break him down, get the win. It's your debut. What are you, where, I mean, everyone will say I'm, it's MMA, it's a, you, an all-round game, but where are you? So I don't want you to give game plans away, but are you a natural striker? Do you like the grappling? or Are you yeah. a true student of the whole thing? Wrestling on the ground, I'm probably most comfortable. I can also stand. I'm always sparring and training with a bunch of strikers, so I have to be all rounded really to get the job done. Uh, other than the win, and this is going to this is a stupid journal question, but other than the win, what does a perfect performance look like for you? What what are you looking to to show or to do in the cage that that is going to make you happy with the performance? Just keep on his back foot all times, having backing off. Have him feeling dizzy, see it in his eyes, the fear, backing off against the cage and that. Just know he's beaten mentally first. If he's beaten mentally, he's beaten physically. I would imagine the training here is, I imagine some of the sparring is like getting into a fight. Yeah. But has, you know, I, I, I've never asked this question. I don't know why. Do, do the coaches talk to you about what it's like when that cage door closes? Do they, they you know what I mean? Because it's got to be different the first time you're there competing against an opponent as opposed to competing with the guys you train with. Did they talk to you guys about that kind of stuff? Yeah, they tell us, you know, it's going to be different when them lights hit Yeah, All them sort of things there. Like, you can prepare as much as you want, but when it comes down to it, you're not in that position until you're in that position. So just keep a level head, do what I've got to do, stick to my strengths. Everybody from the amateur side of the team we've spoken to has, has said how hungry they are, not for like two or three fights a year. They're looking for six, seven or eight. Yeah. You know, is that kind of the same? Do you Definitely. have the same drive? You want to stay competitive? Got to. You got to stay fit, active. Got to stay making sure I'm getting my wins in, getting like you know the views, whatever, and that. Put myself out there, get myself on a bigger platform eventually. With that answer, I know that the, the, the my next question was going to be, you know, is the win as important as the performance in, I, I, at this stage in your career? As long as you perform well, is or is the win something that is absolute in your mind? I think for maybe everyone else, maybe just performing to a decent level, but for myself personally, it's got to be the win. It's got to be nice, clean. You know, it can't be like, oh, well, you almost got you here. Can't have none of that. I've got to just be in control at all times. If this fight goes the way you want, 2017, how many more times would you like to step in and represent UTC? And, and what's the goal? Like, are you looking for, at the end of this year, for some regional titles, or are you not, no rush yet? I'm looking about five, six more fights, maybe, maybe a bit less, you know, there's other things going on, but uh, just really got to do what I've got to do. I can't remember your question, to be honest with you. 
on the 25th, you're going to make your debut. It's in Birmingham, UTC fight team. They always bring UTC fight team support. It's yeah. going to be loud. What kind of a performance can they expect from you? What are you going to show them? The same thing you see in the gym. Not, not going to change anything. Not going to get over like excited or feel like I'm being pressured or nothing. It's going to be myself. Do what I've got to do. I've got a lot of support anyway, Birmingham based. Always live down the road. Just ready. You seem very, again, he's very calm, very relaxed, five weeks out. Weight's good, everything's good. You're fighting a featherweight, but you figure probably you're more naturally a bantamweight. Is that just because let's not worry about weight cut, let's worry about technique? What was the reason? Uh, well, there was a confusion where I wanted to fight in the first place right. anyway, to be honest. But I'm already walking around at 67 anyway. So I need to do these 1 kg and I'm there. So it's like, if I stay at featherweight, 9 out of 10, they're going to be BM, bigger than yeah. me. So it's come down to where I'm going to be comfortable in that. Strong anyway, just be ready for it. Yeah, MMAC, the first show was excellent. MMAC 2 takes place February 25th. We look forward to seeing you make your amateur debut against, we'll get the name right, Alan Murphy is who you make. Probably. <laughs> Aaron, thank you so much for your time. Thank A you. pleasure to meet you, sir. Right, cool. Thank you.